You know, it it's, um, seems like it's been a long time since we played, um, but I know our guys are really excited about getting back out there. It's uh, really had a lot of energy this week. Um, you know, it's good to see working hard. Um, you know, looking at Auburn, uh, I've said this before, just, uh, you know, starts with their quarterback on offense, just uh, really good athlete, uh, you know, can beat you with his arm, can beat you with his feet. Uh, has really good feel what they're doing offensively, good receivers, good skilled players, uh, score a lot of points, play fast. Uh, again, defensively, kind of the same thing when you, you, you know, you look at uh, what they've done defensively over the years. You know, they had to replace a lot of guys from last year's team, but uh, have really kind of rallied together and continue to improve uh, every week. Uh, and then special teams feel like they give probably the most diverse looks that we've seen out of anybody this season. So obviously it'll be a tremendous challenge for us on the road. Uh, it's a great opportunity uh, for our football team and our football program. And um, we're, our guys are excited about going and playing. Questions? We'll start with Austin Price. Coach, obviously you remember Tank Bigsby from when you recruited him last year. But what's he do well? And then what will you guys have to guard against with uh, his game? Well, it's interesting. I, I, I was watching tape this morning, and, you know, uh, we, we recruited Tank out of high school. And uh, I see where he got the name Tank. Uh, guys bounce off of him. Uh, probably one of the uh, more physical runners uh, in our conference. He uh, makes a lot of guys miss, runs through contact, lots of yards after contact, uh, uh, returns um, – um, on, on the kickoff return team, he's the returner, so he's got really good hands, but uh, playing really well for a young guy. All right, questions will go to Trey Wallace, then Gustavo. Hey, Jeremy, would you say uh, Jared Garantano is, is getting near 100%, and uh, how do you feel like he's played over the last couple of days of practice? Yeah, I mean, Jared, Jared is back. Um, you know, I think he's had a um, – good couple of days here just getting back into the the groove so to speak so i thought our, our whole offense um can see him making some some strides there which uh is good to see uh, seems to be more confidence on that side of the ball with practice this week so uh i'll be anxious to see him play on saturday Which part of the team you think's improved the most? Is that the question? Um, well, I, th I, I see a lot of improvement out of a lot of our guys. Uh, I, I really um, – probably the guys that have made the most strides are our younger guys just because uh, they had the feathers to go, and that, that's normal. Um, you know, but with the opportunities that they've had at practice, continue to, you continue to see guys flash uh, with ability and, and starting to understand um, – the work ethic that it takes every day to um, kind of develop the right habits. So uh, it's good to see. And coach, I have a special question for you from another UT coach. Let's get you. Next time you uh, are in a Jeremy Pruitt press conference, I want you to ask him what he thinks of that soccer, that women's soccer team's SEC championship. Yeah, well, Coach Pansky asked, he asked me to ask you about his team. Hey, I tell you what, uh, you know, I, I follow all the sports here, uh, and uh, it's always exciting to see uh, when we bring a championship here. And, um, you know, I, I see these young ladies work out here uh, in the indoor during the summer and um, during practice time sharing facilities here, and uh, they work extremely hard. Uh, see them during the off season, So I can tell you they, they earned it. I will go to Wes Rucker, then Patrick Brown. Well, you know, it's um, it's a position that we've lost a few guys. Obviously, Austin Pope uh, has played a lot of football. And really, the first two games, we used uh, Riley Locklear a lot in the tight end position. So, uh, losing him after the Missouri game, it, it's added uh, to Jacob and, and Princeton. And, you know, these guys continue to improve. Uh, we need to get them more involved in the throw game. Uh, but, you know, I, they, they continue to um, – 
to me, you can see the getting more seasoned. Uh, obviously, they've not played a lot of ball here, but this year they've got an opportunity, and every week they continue to improve at that position. Yeah, you know, there, it, it's one of the probably with all of our positions on defense, you know, you're involved in the run fits. Uh, when you play man-to-man, -man, you have to guard probably the best receivers on the other team. Uh, you've got to be a good blitzer. Uh, we ask a lot out of that position. Um, you know, you're, it's a spot to where uh, there's lots of change of strength motions uh, from the other team, so the multiples change as, as uh, the looks differ there. But um, – he continues to pick things up really fast. He's got good ball skills. He's a big kid um, and uh, that has instincts. So he uh, continues to work hard and improves every day. Ben McKeith and Matthew Ray. Coach, what did you think of Jamari Small in that number two back role against Arkansas when he filled in for Ty Chandler? And how have you seen D. Beckwith and T. Hodge improve over the last two weeks? You know, Jabari to me, has done a really nice job uh, the entire season. If you look at his, his touches, um, his yards after contact, making people miss, uh, he's done a really nice job with that. Uh, he continues to play on our special teams. Uh, he picks things up really fast. Uh, you know, so um, he's not going to do anything but continue to improve and get better. Uh, you know, T. Hodge and D. both – Obviously had issues uh, back during the summer with injuries uh, that really kind of put them behind, uh, but they've stayed positive. Uh, they've worked hard to get healthy. Uh, right now, both of them are bouncing back and forth from the scout team uh, uh, to, the, to the ones and twos. Uh, they're bigger backs um, that have a little thump to them. So, you know, I noticed when they run against the defense over there, when those guys go to thud them up, you know, you can, you can tell they're – they're, they're heavy, so uh, they're guys that uh, will continue to improve the, the more reps that they get. Matt? Hey, Coach, Greg Emerson was a guy that started nine games for UBI last fall and appeared in, I think, every contest. H has he been um, limited by, due to contact tracing and stuff like that? Or why have you not seen him as much this fall? I guess that's what I'm trying to ask. Yeah, so, um, you know, listen, there, there's uh, – you know, this, this whole pandemic uh, has affected all of us differently, right? Um, and, you know, I just for some reason, Greg um, was just to me was in a little bit of kind of a funk or whatever. He just he didn't have a really great fall camp and just kind of jump starting and getting him going. Uh, but really over the last three or four, re three or four weeks, um, you know, I've seen a guy that's really worked hard uh, every day at practice to be a good football player. Uh, and, and he knows it. He sees it. So, um, you know, kind of – it looks like he's kind of back to a mode self a little bit. So, that's good to see. He's walking around with a smile on his face. So, I'm, I'm glad to see that. Thank you. Eric King. Hey, Jeremy, you said earlier this week that you're about as healthy as you've been in quite some time. So, for guys like Alante Taylor, Jameer Johnson, Ty Chandler – how have they progressed over the last two weeks, and should they be available to play on Saturday? Well, um, they definitely have, have started back into the practice routine. Uh, so it, it's looking promising. So hopefully over the next two, get two or three days, they can continue to, continue to improve um, and, and get closer to 100%. David Oven. Just announced they extended the dead period for recruiting through uh, April 15th. I'm just wondering, what's kind of your message to recruits um, right now when they can't see anyone head to head or face to face, and and what does that kind of look like in terms of how you kind of help them make their decision and recruit and just that whole process when you can't see a guy face to face for over a year now? Yeah, it's it's. Um, I think everybody understands the reason why. Um, and, you know, it's very unfortunate, uh, but, you know, we're trying to adapt. Uh, it's unfortunate for the, for the recruits, really, uh, you know, I, I, especially for the ones for this year. You know, lots of them didn't even get to take trips or maybe they, 
Uh, some of them may not have ever been to a college campus, and, and they've got to decide where they want to go to school. And, um, you know, it's, you know, it, to me, it, we've worked hard to try to build relationships and uh, kind of take our, our campus in Knoxville to them, wherever they're at, uh, and the people that, that kind of are involved uh, with our players, uh, you know, throughout our program from, from Joe Scoggins and, and uh, his, his – uh, crew and in, in academics to Rachel Feaster and in nutrition to Geronimo and Dr. Klink uh, with our uh, athletic training, our player development guys, Patrick Abernathy, Kerry Stevenson, Kevin Simon, our staff, uh, our recruiting staff. So there's a, there's a lot of people here at the university that, that, that help our student athletes, uh, you know, on the field, off the field and, 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 you know, throughout life. I mean, um, we've really used Ashley Smith. Uh, she's helped launch our V Flight program for, um, you know, it's really a program that, that's going to help launch our players' career beyond um, football. So uh, something that we're really proud of that we've really got started. So there's, there's lots of really good people here that are involved in uh, recruiting. And, um, you know, we, we've worked hard to do it all the way when you start talking about um, – you know, our administration, athletic administration, our academic administration, people across campus, they've been very willing to help, uh, and, and we couldn't ask for any better support.